Hello guys, welcome. My name is Lisa Heiss with the Frugal Living Network. Today I wanted to share with you my simplified wardrobe. Uh, so I love to live a little bit more of a simplified lifestyle, minimalist, and this is kind of my journey into 2022. So join me today as I share with you just what my closet and my drawers look like. If you are new here, we'd love to have you have some subscribers. So let's jump in. So this is my smaller closet. Uh, currently I live in a cottage on a farm. I'm actually gonna be new moving into the new year. But uh, so I have tried to simplify my closet uh, clothing line down to about seven to 10 items per leg, if it's a dress and a skirt. So I try to pick, okay, what are my favorite items that I enjoy wearing that are per season, things like that. So seven to 10, full year, that is what I try to pick at. Uh, pants, I do usually go a little bit over because there's so many different seasons and so, but I try to keep, you know, that number at that seven to 10. So I have more casual, I have work pants and jeans and things like that. And then I've got some short sleeve shirts, a few long sleeved. So one thing that I really encourage you guys to maybe to try to move towards simplifying your closet minimalism is picking solids. Um, I'm not gonna go all black. I That's just not my style, but for me, I do pick colors that I enjoy. So I'm more of like a coral, navy, black. I love turquoise, grays, etc. And then what I will do, and also reds, I enjoy wearing reds too, and purples and plums. So what I'll do is I'll take those solids and then um, add in some color or some accessories. So like a really cute necklace, a cute uh, scarf. So that way it just makes, uh, you know, it extends your your closet and your the clothes that you do have and you can change it out with different scarves. So uh, I don't have a lot of tank tops. Uh, and then these are just kind of some cardigans that I have. And then also some of the jackets that I wear on a regular basis. So that is my simplified minimalist just hanging close. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you now the clothes that I have in my drawers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the bottom. So this is my bottom drawer. I actually just refreshed it, reset it for the winter. So I've got like my winter uh, pants um, that I will either go snowshoeing. I've got some sweatshirts back here. It's just some long sleeved. I don't really go out in the snow too much here in Oregon. We don't get a ton, but I've got like some just PJs. I've got some warm ones. I've also got some like, I like wearing boxer shorts sometimes too. So I kept those down here. This is my second or my third drawer. So what I did is I went through and simplified and just decluttered the like my workout clothes. I found that I had multiples of different same shirt colors. Uh, so I went through, okay, I've got a couple of long sleeve, short sleeve, as you can see, like the multiple co same colors. And then just the t-shirts and workout shirts that I absolutely love that I will wear. That's the key is figuring out which clothing items you love and get rid of the ones that maybe you just don't enjoy wearing. Someone else's, I mean, that will be someone else's treasures. So I went through and kept, uh, these are my workout pants, but also I do wear like leggings to bed sometimes or under skirts, dresses. So I have quite a few more of these and then just some of like my tank top shirts that I'll wear like under a a blouse or something and then up above I just actually had the opportunity I just decluttered I had three containers of socks um so these bins I actually got at the dollar store so these are great I got these last year um, I love them. So I got down to the black socks, some, uh, or I'm sorry, black socks, white socks, and got rid of probably about five to 10 of each color. Just kept the style that I like and decluttered those. And then these are the warmer socks. So we lost uh, power last year uh, and we didn't have power for 10 days. And so I always make sure to have like warm tights, extra 
thicker warm socks just in case and then to the left is just uh under clothing so i'm not going to really share that and then um this is still a work in progress but these are my scarves uh it may look like a lot and it is but the thing is like i said part of you know simplifying your closet and clothing line is you can add in with accessories so i just have a ton of different scarves and then i just change out like i wear my black top with a different scarf or my navy top with a different scarf uh or sometimes like my turquoise or coral and so that's way that way i don't have to buy and have as many shirts but just interchange with some of my accessories so that's a really great tip and idea I do have, uh, I enjoy having some jewelry. I feel like some of these are missing, so I don't have a ton right out, um, but I always like having a good belt and then just some jewelry to, you know, replen or just kind of accessorize your outfit. So that is my simplified kind of clothing right here. Uh, and hopefully that was helpful just to kind of see, just to simplify, really pick maybe seven to 10 items that you absolutely need and love that you'll wear. Um, if you have storage bins, maybe put like your winter and your grab all your winter gear, your spring, summer, do the same kind of thing. Just pick the ones that you know that you will actually wear. Uh, I do have a great uh, Ikea bin under my closet or under my bed just with a few of my spring items. So this is just kind of my winter clothing line. I don't have hardly anything in that bed. But hopefully this was helpful you guys seven to ten items whatever works for you guys if this was a, a fun video if it was helpful definitely put a thumbs up as it does uh, help my channel if you are new here would love to have you guys as a subscriber as I enjoy sharing words of encouragement uh, simplifying I do share ways to save money and eat healthy on a budget so anyways guys this is Lisa going uh, out so we will talk to you to the next video. Bye-bye.